In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create an online voting form using Google Forms. This is a quick and easy process, perfect for when you need to set up a form to gather opinions, conduct polls, or even organize a vote for your next office party theme. Let's dive right in and have it set up in no time. First off, let's head over to Google Drive. To do this, simply open your web browser and navigate to the Google Drive homepage. You'll need to sign into your Google account if you aren't already. Google Drive is a great tool to store and manage files, and from here you can also create new documents, spreadsheets, and forms. Once you're in Google Drive, look towards the top left corner where you'll see a button labeled New. Click on this to open a drop-down menu. This menu gives you a range of options for what you can create. For today, we're focusing on creating a Google Form, so go ahead and click on Google Forms from this list. After you click Google Forms, you'll be given a few template options. Since we're creating a voting form from scratch, click on the option to create a blank form. This will open up a new tab with a blank Google form ready for us to start editing. The first thing you should do is give your form a title. Simply click where it says untitled form and type in the name or title you want for your voting form. This could be something like vote for the best office snack or team building activity poll. Naming your form will keep it organized, especially if you create multiple forms. Once your title is set, it's time to add a question for your voting. Click where it says Untitled Question and enter your first voting question. Here's where you pose whatever's up for vote. It could be anything from choosing the best date for a meeting to selecting a charity for donations. For the type of answer, we'll use Multiple Choice. This format best suits voting as it allows responders to select only one option, click on the small arrow next to the question type drop down and select multiple choice. With this setup, go ahead and add the options available for your responders. Just type in each option where it says option one, option two, and so on. You can add more options by clicking add option for each additional entry. Once your options are added, you might want to preview the form to see it from a responder's point of view. You can do this by clicking on the preview button, typically represented by an eye icon at the top right corner. This helps ensure that everything looks perfect before sharing it. If you're satisfied with your form, click on publish to make it live and accessible. To share this voting form with others, click on send. You'll then have the option to copy the responder link, click on the link icon.